Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, propane update for you. Uh, this is my second week now running propane. I've just been in town running around and uh, I've got it turned up to about three, three and a half PSI of uh, propane flow. here to go pick up those dyno parts. I've got all the the attachments, adapters for the flywheel and whatnot, so this is a great test for the propane. It ekes out a little bit more power so my foot's not planted all the time. Um, but I've gained 25 uh, degrees in EGT in the process, so contrary to what some people say of getting a less EGT, I'm actually Gain 25 uh, degrees. So uh, it's now 975 instead of 950 on a hard pull. So I still can't use overdrive on the long 8% grades, but um, we'll see what you know the higher numbers do. I'll slowly turn it up, like every week I turn it up, like maybe 2 PSI or 1 PSI flow, and um, go from there. But I'm liking it so far so good. The engine seems to like it. We'll see on this trip what kind of fuel mileage we get, if that's improved at all. Um, but uh, it's running sweet, guys really nice. We'll see if I gain any uh, fuel mileage on this or not. I'll probably have to turn it up a lot more, but then again I'll probably be EGT limited again, so I will have to address that again. Maybe bigger intercooler or something. I may just scrap the propane and put water meth in. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I sure like the idea of just strapping a propane bottle to it and running that. That's very nice. And uh, I'm into this kit for a do-it-yourself uh, kit for a hundred bucks, so certainly is cheap. Anyway, Some of you were interested in that, so that's the update. Nothing really to write home about. It's a, a small improvement in power with an increase of 25 uh, degrees on the EGT. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. And again, thanks a lot for subscribing, commenting, and uh, liking the videos. And we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.